Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Eileen. I just have another project share. If you saw my recent video, I said I wanted to make something with the sewing machine and da da da. Anyway, I made a rug mug. <laughs> so this is the back. And if you don't know what a rug mug is, it's basically a oversized, um, you know, cup, whatever, to put your coffee on. You know what I mean? Like, so in your craft room, you want to bring in a cup of coffee or tea or whatever. You have some place to put it in case it tips over or spills. You have this to catch it. Um, I did put batting in here in between the two layers of fabric. Um, these are just the fabrics. I didn't press this yet um, with, the sewing, with the iron yet, but um, I just quilted the top with the batting first. Well, actually, let me backtrack. I chose um, three different patterns from the fabric that I shared um, my Walmart fabric haul. Um, so I picked these three. This is the Imperial fabric. This is the Rebels fabric. And then I put um, uh, Grogu, Baby Yoda, Grogu, whoever you want to call it, um, on the two corners. And I used my gold thread to do the quilting. So there you go. And then um, after I quilted that, I took my backing fabric and place the right sides together. So this side and this side were actually layered facing each other. And then I stitched it closed and left the opening so I could flip it. It's actually, oh, you can't even tell where it is. <laughs> but let's see, right here. So this side, I left a good size opening right here so that I could flip the fabric right side out. And then I made sure that I tucked it in on the opening. I folded it in so that I could make my stitching. So I just top stitched all the way around all four corners and made sure that I um, reverse stitched there. So there is my mug rug. And I also made some trim. Okay, so <laughs> these are all the fabrics that I purchased at Walmart for Star Wars, okay? They had so much to choose from. Um, I used my cereal box again to make this tag flip a little sturdy. And then I covered it with some of the digital papers that I've been using in the collection. And then I just wrapped it onto our um, little tag flip here. Wait a minute, because I got this one all backwards because I don't want the pins on top. Uh, we want it facing in. And then I hope, um, the so this is for Meliza. If you don't know who Meliza is, she's Sinfully Paper here on YouTube. She is having a challenge giveaway for a Cricut. I think it's an Explore Air 2. I'm not sure. Um, I just wanted to support her channel. So I did some trims. And these are just the gathered ruffle with by hand. So there's going to be a lot of string because you can adjust the size uh, of the ruffle, how scrunched up you want it, or if you want it a little bit more spread out. So this first one here has like the stormtroopers on it. And then this one has the rebels. Um, well, actually, it's a lot of them. It's just the white um, background. It's got Chewbacca. It's got the... Um, Darth Vader, R2-D2, all that. Okay, so that is our first flip. And I, I used um, some straight pins on the back just to keep the, keep the trim from coming off. So, Meliza, I hope you um, just, just be careful. There's pins on the back of the, of the trim. So here is another version of the fabric. See, I don't really have to show you all the fabrics, you know, because they look like that. And um, I just turned them into trim. So this one is a dark blue and it had a bigger print of like the, um, the ships, the starships. Okay, so also want to make sure the pins don't come out. Okay. 
And then this is the last one. This one has four trims. This has Grogu on it. And there's the digital paper again. This one has Grogu. This one just says Star Wars. This also just says Star Wars. And then this is the back black background with the same print that we have right here. Okay, except this is a back a black. Oh, can't speak. Whenever I do a recording, I can never speak. Because I don't know. So there's gonna be a lot of you know thread string hanging, but yeah, that's what I made for Meliza's um, challenge. I just want to support her. Um, I'm a really, I love Star Wars. So when she had this challenge going and she had Star Wars up in the option that you could craft for her, I was game. I was full on excited. So um, I hope she enjoys this. I have her box here. I'm just going to package everything up and um make sure i package these up also because those are the um leftover embellishments that i created and i didn't get to use fully so this one i will wrap like roll it up and then put a ribbon and then tie tie a little tag on there that says you know it's a mug rug um instead of a coaster which is usually like a smaller area, you have this called a mug rug. <laughs> okay, so I I pulled this bag from uh, my stash, and this is a bag, gift bag, from Dollar Tree, and it comes as a set of two, and this is the one I picked. This says Precious Cargo. I thought it was super cute, and I put my tags of trims in here. And I used the little, you know, just fussy cut an image from the digital paper I was using. And I just put a little note on that one. And the same with this one. I just used the same paper and fussy cut the little Grogu there. So there you go. That's what I got for my entry. This is only a small portion of it. Um, I might try to put this... Oh, it will fit. Oh, I think I will put it in here. This is a giant gummy Grogu. And put that. Yes. Okay. It works. It works. There you go. And it's trimmed, so you can squish it in there as however to make it fit. So there we go. Perfect. That is it. I'm going to be happy with that. I need to write my note in here and yeah and then I'll package everything up and then send it on its way um anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it um and let me know if you want to you know see me make this because I can do that too I can add that to my sewing um videos playlist here so yes welcome if you're new hit subscribe to join my crafty family and then while you're at it hit the notification bell and i'll let you know when i load another crafty video or whatever or go live so thanks for watching again and i will see you all next time bye